Uh, good afternoon. Um, in this afternoon's video, I'm going to teach you how to install the Beacon Uniform Classification File. The Beacon Uniform Classification File is used for adding elemental codes into the assembly codes in your Revit families, uh, which are then used, obviously, for the Beacon BIM guidelines and standards. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, change the folder settings. So we're going to open up uh, Windows Explorer and we're going to hold the Alt key down to bring up the tool menu. I'm going to go into Tools, Folder Options, and I'm going to click on View. Okay. Then we're going to scroll down to this section here and we're going to ensure that the Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives button is selected. Now we're going to click OK on that and that's going to allow us to see the hidden folders that we need to install the uniform classification file. So you're going to need to do this on every computer that has uh, Revit installed on it. Uh, it goes into the users data um, in the Revit directory so uh, unfortunately every computer that's got Revit on is going to need uh, to do this process. So if I go to the C drive okay, and then we're going to browse to C colon users and then I'm going to go to myself, which is my user. And then I'm going to go to app data. You can see that would have been hidden previously. And I'm going to go to roaming. And then I'm going to go to Autodesk. And then I'm going to go into Revit. And then obviously Revit architecture. You'll have to do this as well for Revit MEP. But first we'll do architecture. And you can see that's the uniform classification file that comes default with Revit. So this is the file that we want to replace it with that we've downloaded from the Beacon website or that has been emailed to you from one of the Beacon staff. Take that file and we simply copy it in. Now it's asking me to move and replace, so I'm going to click move and replace, so I'm overriding that file. And that's it done. While we're here, we're going to Revit MEP. And we'll copy the same file to there, move in place. And that's us done. Uh, see the next video for how to add the uniform uh, classification codes into your web families and instances.